Okay, now you can just go ahead and open Notepad++ and save your blank file in your website folder. The first page, your home page, is traditionally actually called the index um, if you do proper web design. So let's call the home page the index. Hypertext markup language file. Now the second page you'll call something different, like your conclusion page or whatever that is going to be. Save. All right, so now you are ready to start typing. Now, if you start typing um, in HTML and you see that this is not actually turning blue and everything is not working the way it should be, that could be because the new um, Notepad++ for some reason doesn't actually add the .html at the end. So if you go to your file explorer, just um, if, it, if it just says file, it doesn't actually say HTML file, just actually rename the file and type in .html if that doesn't, if it doesn't work. Okay, but I hope for most of you it does work. All right, so create your basic structure. Please refer to your textbook for the basic structure for your HTML page. Okay, then go and add your color that you've chosen for the background color. Um, put in a meaningful title. The title is the tab name that you'll see on your browser. So this has to actually have to do with your topic. Okay, so it has to be something about your topic like shopping online or safe shopping or something like that okay and then um i think put in at least a space for uh, your main title uh, heading one which i'll say it'll it's probably be a heading one uh, paragraph style and there you'll put your main 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 heading um whatever you're going to call that uh, tips for online safe shopping or study about safe shopping something like that all right and have a look at what that looks like so far in your browser you can then also start by putting in your font that you want to use for most of the page so this the best would be put a font in that you want to use for the whole page and then if you do want to have a different pa different font for the headings itself then just specify that when you get to the headings, okay?